Hello guys. Hey, I just want to talk a little bit about some antifreeze today. Hey, um, this truck has been running. I got it up to temperature. It's been sitting here for 10 or 15 minutes. And now I'm going to remove the cap off of the reservoir. So what I want to do here is put a rag over it just so you don't get burnt. All right. And always open these slowly. All right, now, <clears throat> there's a couple different tests you can do on antifreeze. One is a tester like this, all right? Everybody's probably familiar with these and how to use them, but what you do is you'll push it down in the antifreeze, squeeze the bulber, and you'll suck some antifreeze up, okay? Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but you look over on the corresponding scale here, and this will tell you what your freeze point is. And it looks like I'm right around 20 below, all right? Maybe just a little bit less, maybe 18. But that's pretty much how you test the freezing points of your antifreeze, okay? But there's another test you can do, which you really should do, especially if you're running the red antifreeze. Okay? Now you take a simple voltmeter. Um, you're going to want to go over here to the 20 volt um, DC scale, okay? Now, a lot of people have different opinions on this, but to me it doesn't matter which lead you stick in because you're just looking for the reading. You don't really care if it's a minus or a positive reading. That's not really what you're looking for. You're just looking for the number. So what you're going to want to do is take one lead and you want to be able to touch it to a known good ground, which over here I'm going to use the head, okay, because it's right there, it's clean and I can do it. Now the other lead, you want to set down into the antifreeze and all you got to do is get the tip of the lead into the antifreeze you don't have to put the whole lead in or nothing and you want to try to make sure it doesn't touch anything else in there especially for something metal all right now I don't know if you can see on here but I'm at point one well it's changing a little bit but I'm basically a point one volts okay and that is very acceptable what you're looking for here is you want to be point five volts or less all right, 0.7 and above, you should change your antifreeze. Thing is, antifreeze has corrosion inhibitors. It also has a lubricant in it and stuff, so it's actually not permanent, even though it says permanent antifreeze on them. Especially the red, it will break down. Um, a lot of motors also are aluminum and um, iron combined pieces. And what happens is the red antifreeze especially will start breaking down and that's why you're checking this for um, DC voltage. Once you get over a certain amount of voltage, what will happen is the antifreeze will start breaking down and lose its qualities. And then what will happen is it will start eating gaskets and different things in the motor. It will actually can eat the metal in the motor. And a lot of times neglect of this antifreeze is why a lot of people will have gasket failures um, and different kind of failures due to the, um, it eating the insides of their motors. So it's always a good thing to check your antifreeze for freezing point and check it with a voltmeter to see if um, you're getting above the um, limit that you would need to change it or not. It's 0.5 volts and less, you're okay. I like to see less than 0.5 volts, but if it's 0.7 or higher, you really should think about flushing your system and um, changing your antifreeze before it does harm to your motor. Okay, that's. Thank you for watching.